grade 6 math number 10.10 .10, graph functions. If you've been watching the last few videos, we've been talking about a coordinate plane and how the x-axis, the horizontal line going across here, which is also called the domain, is just a number line that crosses a y-axis, which is called a codomain, and it's a number line, and they meet at 0, 0 at the origin in the center, right there. Okay? We've learned that tables and equations can represent functions. We can also use a graph to represent a function. This table shows the relationship in the time in minutes a washing machine can wash a load of laundry. Graph the function represented by the table and we'll write ordered pairs. One load is 45 minutes, so two loads is 90 minutes, three loads is 135 minutes, and four loads is 180 minutes. So if this is x and this is y, this is our ordered pairs. 145, 290, 3, 135, and 4, 180. Those are our ordered pairs. So here's our chart, our table, our, our graph. Here's our loads of laundry, and here's our time in minutes. One load is 45 minutes, see? Two is 90, three is 135, four is 180, so we could see what five loads is right away because we can see the pattern of what's happening here. See how we could just draw a line? And zero loads would be zero minutes, wouldn't it? That makes sense. Okay, so if it said graph the function represented by the missing table to find the missing value of y, see it's not here, all we have to do is graph this on our coordinate plane and we'd be able to see the line that was developing and we'd see the missing point see now sometimes like in the book it shows the XY table drawn like this like we did in the last couple of videos and then it's got the X values coming across here and it's got the Y values coming across like this but this is how it's usually written Usually in math and in, in the high school and college books, you're going to see it's going to have the X on this side and the Y on this side. And then that way, it's very easy to imagine the parentheses around them. See? All right. So let's graph negative 1, 5. Where would negative 1, 5 be? Well, negative 1, because we do the X first, is right here. And we have a positive 5. So that's going to put us right here. All right? So let's put a ring there. We're at negative 1, 5, and we're going to put a ring right there. Negative 1, 5. The next one is at 0, 3. So 0 on the x, but three on, positive 3 on the y. Okay? 0 on the x, but positive 3 on the y is going to put us right here. See? So we're 0 for the x, but positive 3 for the y. Okay? Now we've got one that's missing, so we're going to skip it and go to 2 on the x and negative 1 on the y. All right, 2 on the x is right here, and negative 1 for y is right here. Okay? And then our last one is 3 on the x and negative 3 for y. 3 on the x, that's right here. And negative 3 on the y is right here. So can you see the line that's being made? Can you see that? And I know my graph isn't exactly perfect, but we can see a line that's forming, right? And can you see the intersection that it would have gone through? It would have gone through 1, 1, see? And look what the graph says, 1 something. So if it was on x1, it would be 1, 1. It would be on y, 1 also. See, so we can fill this in and say the missing value. Whoops, dried out marker. That happens. The missing value is a 1, see? So, it's not that hard to connect the points to make a line to find the missing value because that is how you find the missing coordinate, either x or y. You plot all the points and then you draw a line to see what's missing. If this was our graph, 
and the next point was right here, and it said, what is the missing point? We'd very easily be able to see that it's right here. And if we drew a line with a ruler right through it, whoops, crooked line, we'd be able to see that it would have been right here, that that would have been the missing one. See? Very easy. Okay? If you still have questions and you haven't been watching every single video, go back to the grade 6 math number 10.8 and it'll explain functions. You can watch the grade 6 math 10.9a and 10.9b for x and y coordinates on a coordinate plane. You can also watch grade 5 math number 9.2. That explains the coordinate plane in a little bit easier way because it's fifth grade math. Okay? So, if you are above this level and you just stumbled upon this video, I also have uh, coordinate plane videos and geometry videos in my geometry playlist. And you can check that out, okay? So, keep up the good work. I appreciate you watching my videos because I know that means that you're trying. You could be off watching little kitten videos or some funny video of somebody falling down and here you are watching a math video. So that does say something about you that shows that you're trying, okay? So keep your chin up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!